Yeah, it out. was uh, there. That was interesting. I mean, we waited at the on the tarmac for a couple hours the night before, hoping that we were we were going to get out, which a added to it. And then, uh, so the bus drive, the bus ride the next day didn't seem too bad. <laughs> it was less than the time we waited yeah. for them to try to get uh, get that plane going. Uh, and I know we had a bunch of guys that were were not feeling good, so that wasn't fun for them. Um, you know, we went into that game with guys sick uh, that were in the lineup, and they still weren't feeling great after. So that added to it for them. I think to sit on a bus for a little extra time. Yeah, what's I guess what's the frustration like that? I mean, you plan a practice, you know, for yesterday in St. Louis. And yeah, you can't do it. I mean, what's it like just having to sort of adjust? Yeah, and yeah, it, it was. You know, we'll, we'll see, but I, we actually needed the day to recover yeah. because we did have guys playing through some illness the other day, and their energy was low. Um, you know, we're fighting a, a, a bug that, you know, took uh, Poso out. Who else missed? Olsen. Olsen, and then there were, there were a handful of guys in yeah. that, uh, yeah, so that were hard. just gotten it through for us, you yeah. know. So I think yesterday was a good day off for, for all of that. With all that time, did you just watch a video? I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. All right, you guys good if I turn this on? Yeah, it's fine. Sam, are you good? Yep. Well, Henry wasn't out there. Do you have any sort of an update? Is yeah, the the only update with Henry will be that we're gonna he's doing rehab. Uh, we we know what it is. It's not he's not gonna be able to play tonight. Um, doubtful um, next game out, but uh, the, the hope is to have him back very soon after. We'll, we'll get uh, more information as he goes through treatment, though. So no, no Yoki tonight, and we think it, we're hopeful that it's short term. Olsen and Akposo back in? Both Olsen and Akposo are back in. Both were sick, uh, as I mentioned, with uh, some, you know, some illness there. We had a handful of other guys that fought it off, even though they played the other day through the game, um, that you know didn't have great energy as a result. Uh, so it actually worked out. We didn't skate yesterday in, in hopes that those guys could all recover, and uh, we have better energy as a result today. Uh, so, yeah, those two are back in, and we appear to be a little healthier than maybe we were the other night. With, with Henry out, Obviously, him and Dahls are have been your top pairing. So, I know Fitzgerald took some rushes with Darlene. Is, is he going to be the one skating with Erasmus? And how do you really make that determination who goes in that spot? Because it's not an easy, you know. Yeah, play. I I think Fitzgerald would is a good fit. Um, they play, you know, they play the style. They're comfortable with the style we play. Very comfortable, I think. With it, uh, and I think they're compatible. Um, you know, they, uh, a lot of playing defense is playing in tandem, and, and I think uh, that's what Dulls and Yogi have gotten a real good feel of, uh, as have Sammy uh, Samuelson and Fitzgerald have been together for quite a while. Uh, so I think it's an easy slide for, for Fitzy to go in there. And, um, you know, uh, Robert Hag back in goes with uh, Pizik, and then Bryson and Samuelson will be together. With St. Louis, what do they do that makes it difficult to get – to your game, now it's, it's obviously a heavier team. They play yeah. their style. You know, yeah, they, they 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 play. You know, they're they're a big and strong team, but they have they have uh, several guys that are quick and agile and skilled. You think of Peron and Tarasenko and Thomas. You know, so they 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 are big and strong by identity, but they can attack quick. Uh, you know, Tori Krug on the back end, and the defensemen are always in the rush and active. Um, so it's a combination of, of a, a team like Washington or the Islanders we're more familiar with out east um, where they have some big, strong, and play a heavy game, but then they're able to uh, transition quick and, and make quick plays. So uh, obviously not far removed from the Stanley Cup, and uh, they are a top team. Uh, what goalie is going to be starting tonight? Tukarski will start tonight. Is there any special meaning to you coming back to the building where you had your first stint behind an NHL bench? Yeah, this is a, this is uh, obviously lots of good memories. I was within the St. Louis organization or the Blues organization for I don't know six years, and, and mostly most of that time was working with the prospects as the American League coach, but um, uh, was here also as an assistant coach. And 
this is a great place to, to, to live. It's a great city, and, uh, yeah, a lot of good, good memories. So it'll be uh, fun for me to be back here uh, tonight on the bench again. And then another connection with Tage Thompson. What's allowed Tage to be able to find the production to match the natural skills that he even displayed before being obviously coming to Buffalo? Yeah, I, I think for Tage it's just growth. Uh, he just, you know, since he's left St. Louis, uh, he, he's a different player. Um, as far as just the growth of him, he just—he's a player that's always been very committed to his development. Uh, I had him at a young age; he was 16 when I had him with the U.S. program, so I'm very familiar with his path and um, knew of his potential that he still hasn't even reached or scratched the surface. Uh, but he—but his commitment to getting better every day is, uh, you know, why he's where he's at now. He's established himself as a. As our number one center, uh, you know, through this part of the season, um, he is he's he's been effective throughout the whole league. I mean, he's got he's got the first matchup of every team's defense uh, for the last 20 games now. As he's emerged, the league has taken note of it. Uh, 20 goals already this season is is evident of, of his uh, skill and ability. And you know, there's still, like I said, a lot lots and lots of potential there for him. Yeah. Hey, 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 you look nice and relaxed in that chair. Yeah. Yeah. Familiarity and just skill set. Uh, he, he, if to me, you know, watching him, he felt, with his creativity, it felt like he was trapped on the wall. You know, you, you, when you're a winger, you only have one uh, direction laterally you can go. You know, him being on the, on the right side, you can, every move you make has is, is got to be toward the left. And, and you can't manipulate, you know, two defensemen. When you're in the middle of the rink, two defensemen have to respect you because you can go east-west or right-left. Um, and his skill set to me matched much, much better. And I felt if we got him off of the wall, uh, we would see a lot more creativity and a lot less of him putting pressure on himself to make, you know, a fancy move or an extra move uh, to try to bait the defenseman. Um, you know, if you're, if you're coming off a wall, you're, one defenseman's able to play. If you're in the middle, you can manipulate the two without even exposing the puck. Uh, which he was forced to do coming from the wall. So I just felt, you know, there was so much potential for him there um, in the middle, and uh, I still think there's so much potential there. Even though he's played well, uh, there's a lot more that he's going to be able to do uh, in the middle based on his work ethic and commitment to, to getting there. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, your first reflex is to get upset with guys, mad at guys, and and you can, and you push guys, uh, absolutely. There, you know, behind the scenes, we had several guys that were not feeling good. They they were fighting illness, uh, and they tried to compensate by taking a shortcut. When you're a little bit tired, and you, and like I said, they were sick, and you, you're you're starting to take shortcuts, and you realize you can't. Uh, that is how I felt things went through the first period we brought it to their attention no matter how you feel uh, you can't press and and Adam you know part of part of growth in this league for young players is being able to adjust in game 53 when you're beat up you're you've got a sore elbow and sore ribs and you know uh, your groins are tight not un or understanding you can't do what you normally do understanding how to compensate when you don't have your legs or you don't have your energy uh, and and that's a big part of the process. So, you know, I felt the other night um, we tried to compensate early by cheating a little bit, you know, uh, keeping our momentum instead of stopping in defensive position and waiting for the puck to come to you. You're hoping, you know, I don't feel quite as good. 
I'm hoping maybe I can keep my skating momentum. And, and that caught us early in that game. When, when that happens in a game, Adam, the other team, you've got to be able to match the other team's energy. So, you, you know, if, if, if you make those mistakes, the energy level picks up for them. An adrenaline surge on the other team. Now you're fighting that, and it looks like you're not working as hard. So lots of factors like that, you know, underlie. Uh, but for us, it's, um, you know, it's continual growth. And we, we've seen that individually. Eventually, we'll see it collectively. And that's the part of, that you, you can overreact, and you can start making decisions being frustrated. But unfortunately, it's part of the process. I've been it. I've, I've been through it. I've lived it. And... It, uh, it, it's sadly you got to go through it to gain that experience. All right, John, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Uh, just a quick question. Uh, who are your two forwards coming out, and is Byro still with the team? Uh, Byro is coming out in Jankowski. Right now, yes, Byro is with us. That could change, Paul, but ba that could change as far as uh, roster stuff. But, yes, that's right now that's, that's what it is. Zoom is this Zoom is killing me, Bill. Robert Hague had a strong start this season, and he just he hasn't uh, he hasn't looked as good in the last several weeks. He had that injury. Just what, what maybe has he gotten away from in the last little while? Yeah, I, I think you know the start of the year. Samuelson wasn't here. Fitzgerald wasn't here, and those guys have really come in and taken minutes. I mean, they have they have taken minutes away from you know you know other guys by playing well. Obviously, Dalene and Yokoharu have advanced immensely. So I think it's progress of those four I mentioned more than anything. Um, as far as, you know, when I, when I think of Robert, uh, that's what comes to mind. Those four guys, you know, Fitzy and Samuelson were not in the lineup at the start of the year. And Dahls and Dalene and, and Yokoharu are so much better, uh, you know, by virtue of improving through the course of the year. Um, but, yeah, it, it, so he's getting, obviously, less ice time. Um, and uh, he's got to deal with, obviously, you know, been in and out of the lineup a little bit. And you, you just have to, you have to learn to deal with that and, and reacclimate to that. Yeah.